I'm addicted to watching J-Lo lip sync in concert. The way she lip syncs fascinates me. When, when the hook comes around, if she's not lip syncing, she progresses to scream at the crowd, sing it as if it's their job. And I, I know it's wrong. It, it hurts my soul, but I can't look away. The way she always has weird knee issues. So she has to hold a cane or a stick or an umbrella. She draws me in. It's like a freak show or like car crash that I wish she was in. My friends politely ask me to stop sending them footage of J-Lo live in concert. My mother blocked me. She's like, enough is enough. You have an addiction. I've been saving up to even buy tickets to go. But the tour is canceled. Seeing a psychologist, she prescribed. I listened to more Millie Vanilli. I have. I know they were phony and they got canceled right away, but it didn't happen to J-Lo. So why should I stop watching? The only hope I have is Ben Affleck somehow reaches out to me for a support group I'm sure he created along with all the other men that dated J-Lo so I can be part of it so I can get over this sick addiction I have. God, I hate her. So I went down a rabbit hole that I didn't think I'd go down. Obviously, J-Lo can't sing for shit. And I was looking at the Twitter list of people that have sung the hook for J-Lo because she has a weak ass voice. She could sing, but she doesn't have the vocal length, or whatever singers call it, to hit those high notes that we all know J-Lo for. So the list on Twitter, which I'll link in the bio, consists of the best examples of J-Lo not singing the hook to her songs because she doesn't have the, the range. She doesn't have the, the strong voice to do so. Obviously, the number one example is Jenny from The Block sang by Natasha Ramos. Ironically, the next one on the list is I'm Real, sang by Ashanti. Yes, yes, she did make a song titled I'm Real, where she fake sung the hook. Next is the original I'm Real, sang by Shayit Harrell. Again, that's blatantly not J-Lo's voice. <laughs> Next is Play, sang by Christina Milian. Blatantly not J-Lo again. Next is my personal favorite that I watched her perform live is Get Right, sang by Yana Crawley. Next we have Ride or Die, sang by Brandy. Finally we have If I Gave You Love, sang by Shanti Moore. So that begged the question in my head, what are these songs like live? And I found my favorites, which will be in this video. Get Right, Jenny from the Block, and her Super Bowl montage where she puts on a masterclass of passing off other people's singing as her own. Notice how J-Lo singing the hooks live sound nothing like the original song. Notes to take away, when J-Lo is actually singing the song and she approaches the hook, she begins to shout at people sing it while flailing her arms and doing weird gyrating motions like sing yeah you sing <laughs> i can't sing you sing <laughs> why 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 is there always a stick <laughs> what do you do <laughs> the illusion has been shattered the illusion has been shattered she just looks ridiculous now Jaylo's looking at the crowd, please sing for me. <laughs> He's like, I can't hit those notes. I can't fucking hit those notes. Yeah, you, you, you hoe down there, buddy. Make sure you get that hoe down going. Reminds me of some shit from Whose Line Is It Anyway. Notice how it sounds like her voice now from the music video? Like the exact same voice? Oh look, she's singing the hook. She's not flaring her arms and looking at the crowd. She's singing now, and it sounds exactly like the song. Doing the same old hoedown. You hold that stick, J-Lo. Bro, her face is... J-Lo's face is literally becoming demonic. That's terrifying. It's the bit rate, but look at look at what happened to her. That's so scary. What the hell is that? She looks like a demon. She looks like a demon. She looks like she's transforming into a demon. Is this the Illuminati? Her makeup reflecting the light is terrifying. And yeah, there's J-Lo singing again. 100% not screaming at the crowd this time either. 
Finally, we have JLo performing Jenny from the Block Live, which I love because she actually tries to sing the hook and it sounds blatantly terrible, even when Taylor Swift is trying to help her sing the hook. <laughs> That's as believable as her normal singing. Notice how her voice singing the hook sounds infinitely worse than Natasha Ramos. Her voice, she could sing. JLo could somewhat sing, but she doesn't have that full voice that was sold to you and marketed to you throughout your childhood and now it's ruined because this bitch was lying the whole time. I'm upset. And I take back all the faps I made to you, JLo. These are retracted. Retracted faps. Everybody sing! <laughs> Everybody sing! Because I can't! <laughs> Everybody sing, because that isn't me. <laughs> no matter where I go, I know where Natasha came from. I think I could sing Jenny from the Block better than J-Lo. Don't be fooled by the rocks. That, nope, terrible. That was shit. Sorry about that. Maybe I could pay someone to dub their voice over mine. Does she, did, did she have a diaper on? I think she's accepted her age and put on a diaper. And I commend her for it. It's actually a onesie that gets changed from the bottom. There's a hole in the booty, like a baby's. JLo really has knee issues, I think. Like her right knee really hurts. Even Taylor Swift can't save this woman's voice. The hook sounds nothing like we were, what we were sold. Looks like she has a turd in her pants. A whole turd. Oh, nice that they actually kept Natasha's laugh. Real. <laughs> Real. <laughs> That's your contribution to the song. So we've made it to the end. The best for last. The part where JLo sings all her greatest hits where the hook is someone else. Super Bowl is the greatest hits of people's voices she used. So Natasha Ramos. Ashanti. Yana Brawler. Yeah, she points to the crowd. Come on, guys, you sing the lyrics. She didn't sing any of the hook. She just looks at the crowd. Sing it. That is the video. The main takeaway is, hey, if JLo is actually trying to sing, the hook will be skipped over and she'll scream at the crowd, sing it. And if she's lip singing, she will sing it perfectly and she won't tell the crowd once, sing it. This is very awkward. Also, she might be a demon. So that's fun. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.